certainly I'm going to look the other way. Bit of nail, bit of pressure now. Need a prick. How are you going? Surviving? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Eli Pritchard. I'm Paul, Eli's dad. I had a really bad accident 20 years ago when a rock fell on my head. I always wanted to take you to the Himalayas, Eli, but I, I couldn't see a way of how to do it safely on our own. And so when this trip came up, I had to jump at the chance. I was invited by Dr. Eddie Albert to guide a team of doctors and medical professionals to the Himalayas. Me and Dad climb together a lot. <laughs> I don't really notice his disability. <laughs> He's a famous climber. Or at least that's what he tells me. I always help my dad. He's a hemiplegic after a climbing accident before I was born. I wish I was as carefree as you are, Eli, because... because I realise that I have to take so much care with every step to avoid, to avoid injuring myself. Arriving in Kathmandu was definitely an eye opener. You know, there was a lot of earthquake damage, more than I was expecting. Massive cracks in buildings and just gaps in these lines of houses. Where, like whole houses have disappeared. <laughs> you think to the Dipper Valley Festival? It was, it was mayhem. <laughs> yeah, that was, yeah. With a team of medics on hand day and night, if I have a fall, I know that you will be looked after and I'll be in safe hands. <laughs> I also know that if you get sick, we've got such a wealth of medical experience in the group that you, you, you'll be fine. This is my first time in Nepal and my first mountain in the Himalayas. Am I going to look there tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here and, first. And, um, and Eli's a bit nervous about it because it's um it's a it's a scary plane ride to the world's shortest runway or something. I still hate God about his life. We are from a village like Lutla or Solukumbu. So uh, I spend school life in Solukumbu. Edmund Hillary built like 16 high school in the Solukumbu district. I convinced my family to go Everest, but once uh, it's enough, I think. It's not that difficult, like you know, but, so only the problem is ice fall, it's more dangerous. Uh, rest of the things is like just altitude. Uh, why have you come on this trip? Um, I've always wanted to come to Nepal my whole life, 
And then I knew that this group was getting together with a whole lot of like-minded people and we were going to go up and see some of the medical rescue posts that Dr Eddie Albert had set up a trip and I thought I've got to get on board that. After a week of trekking, we visited a high altitude medical clinic in the village of Machermo. And we pumped this up to 2 psi and at 2 psi... I was shoved into a Gamoff bag. A Gamoff bag is a pressurised chamber that brings attitude down when you're in the bag. Too fast and your ears hurt, you need to tell us, okay? It can save your life in some circumstances. Right now, I am at 3799. And in the Chermo, the altitude is 4300. 3374. 3374. So that's just below Namchi Bazaar. Ah! Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> what, are you, what, what are you doing? You're supposed to be getting up. You're supposed to be getting up. I'm a cripple. <laughs> I'm a cripple around here. Dad left a floater in the toilet. Dad said that this trip would turn me into a mature adult. Okay. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, have you found it hard uh, or tough? Yeah, so tough. It's, um, it's been the greatest challenge so far in my entire life, I think. <laughs> it was also fantastic to reconnect with my brother and sister-in-law, Eli's uncle and auntie. Eli only gets to see those guys once in a blue moon because they live on the other side of the world. Um, Dad said climbing Dockery was like your Everest. Can you tell us why? I suppose we all have our own Everest in life. Everybody does. But for me to... Hopefully get to the top of Goku or tomorrow will be something pretty special. Everest. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to put my foot there. This is your first summit in the Himalayas, Eli. What do you think? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, yeah. It's amazing.
run out, guys. Make sure to hit the bell and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>